Hey hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of my pay to play flipping series. Uh, we're going to go from 0 to 100 mil using the Grand Exchange only. Today we are starting the boat 15.1 uh, mil, uh, so not too bad. We're hoping to get to 20 mil before the end of the week. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not, but we'll try our best. Uh, so enough of the intro, let's get started. Okay, so first up we're going to do the Fire Orb. Uh, it has about a 30 GP margin on it. And it has a 10,000 GP limit, but we're going to do 5k, I think, because uh, that would use up quite a bit of our money. Okay, now we're going to do 7,000. <laughs> and next up, we're going to do the Water Orb, actually. <laughs> the Fire Orb has a good margin, so does the Water Orb. It looks like it has over 40. Again, the Water Orb's traded pretty frequently, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, we'll just probably use the rest of our money. Uh, we'll see how many can afford. Probably three or 4,000. Um, a little less than 3,000, looks like. Okay, we'll see how these orbs work out. Okay, so the orbs have been flipped, and it's pretty disappointing to be honest. Um, okay, well the water orbs we got a 40 GP margin on, and uh, 651 of those gives us 26k. Fire orbs, I don't even know, it's not even worth calculating, it's probably 10 to 15k at best, so pretty lame. Um, unfortunately we didn't buy enough of these for this to be worth it at all, so oh well, we didn't lose any money. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do the Dragon Axe again. Uh, this item has worked pretty well for us actually in the past. Uh, it has a 40 GP or 40 uh, quantity limit, uh, but you can generally get 2 3k on it, which is pretty nice. And uh, with the rest of our money, I think we're going to do some Raw Shark. Had about a 15 GP margin on it, I believe. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use the rest of our money. Can't afford 10,000, but we can get 8 or 9k at least. Uh, we'll see if 8k will work. And yeah, okay, we'll see uh, how these go. So we have sold most of the Dragon Axes and all of the Raw Sharks, and for the amount we bought, it actually worked out pretty well. Uh, the Raw Sharks we got a 10 GP margin on, which is pretty awesome for how many are traded every day. So 10 GP times 8k would give us 80k. The Dragon Axes we actually managed to get a 7k margin on. We only got 13 Axes, but still that gave us 90k. And we still have two more to sell, so pretty good actually. Okay, we've been spending so long trying to find an item, but um, we're going to try the Chocolate Dust again. <laughs> uh, it actually has a 8 GP margin on it. Yeah, 8. And uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome for the price again. Uh, and I'm not sure how many you traded every day, but I think it's a couple hundred thousand for sure. Uh, so we'll try to get the buying limit worth of it, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and next up, we're going to do another kind of weird item. We're going to do the Gold Amulet Unstrung, which has a 15 GP margin on it, which is quite good again for the price. I know these have a couple million trade every day, so you you think these would uh, trade quickly, but I've had experiences in the past where they have not actually bought and sold very quick, uh, but we'll see how it goes this time. So again, we'll do the buying limit worth of it, which apparently is 18,000, uh, so we'll give, give that a try. And last up, we're going to do the green dragon hide, I think. It only has a 20 GP margin, and it is a 2,000 GP item, um, but again, these will be very quick. So we'll see how much we can make on a quick flip like this. Uh, well, hopefully we can get a thousand of them, a couple thousand. I guess we're going to get like not that many. We'll go for 5,000, I think. We, I'm really, really bad at adding stuff up sometimes. I don't want to put, put it down to 5,000 and then we can get on with our day. As I said, the uh, chocolate dust and the gold amulets were kind of weird items. They did not work at all. So we only really got the green dragon hides, which actually did work pretty decently. Uh, we got a 24 GP margin on each one, and 5,000 of those gives us 120k. Uh, we didn't get a substantial amount of either the chocolate dust or gold amulet, so we're not really going to calculate a flip for that because it's going to be pretty negligible even if we do make any money. Uh, but yeah, let's try again. So I think we're actually going to do the crystal key again. It looks like it has 1.7k per key combined, which is quite high for what it's normally at. Um, so we'll go ahead and use the rest of our money just to buy some keys. Probably break down to being a couple hundred each. Uh, we'll have to see though. Um, I, I do like doing the crystal keys, but it can make for a very messy flip because unless all of them buy perfectly and sell, combine and sell right away, it's really hard to kind of visualize, at least for you guys, to see how much money I'm actually making. Uh, so I try not to do it too often, but it seems to be a pretty good price. So we'll go ahead and see how many. Uh, we'll start with the two half of the keys. Uh, we'll try maybe 350 or 400. I think 400 might be too much though. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll have to see if we can actually afford enough of them. And I'll we'll go to the loop halves. 
we're gonna buy them for I think somewhere around 8900 8952 and ooh, just quite not enough so we'll just we'll just lower down to 380 or something and um, yeah then we'll just combine 380 worth of the keys I don't really feel like taking the other offer out at this point so we've actually sold the keys and uh, we managed to get an even higher margin than we started with. Um, we ended up getting about 2.2k on each key and we got 193 keys giving us 386k which is pretty good. Um, we didn't get an even amount so we did sell back the extra loop halves of a key uh, but we actually made about 500 each one of those as well so we probably got another 10-11k from that. Uh, so pretty much we got 400k from that flip so again the keys do work pretty well um, when the price is right anyway. As you can see there, the Mithril Ore has a 12 GP margin on it, uh, which is quite nice. So I think we're going to buy a buying limits worth. I need to come up with a unit of measurement <laughs> uh, for the buying limits worth of item. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and I think it's 13,000. So we'll go ahead and buy 13,000. Uh, for a 12 GP margin should give us, well, over 100k. Uh, that's for sure. And once again, the uh, Dragon Axe has a 2k margin on it, I believe, um, which is pretty good. So we'll go ahead and buy another 40 of these and hopefully get 80k or so. So the Black Mask has a 12k margin on it. We actually did check ourselves just by buying and selling one. Uh, we did this once in a challenge video, so we're going to try it again. Uh, hopefully we can get all 10 of them. Well, 9 now, uh, but still, that should give us a hefty profit of about 100 plus k still, so that's pretty nice. Okay, so the flips are in. Now the real hero here is the Mithril Ore. We did not make any money on anything else really. Um, and surprisingly, the Mithril Ore we got a 18 GP margin on, and 13,000 of those would give us 234k, which is insane for how quickly this item is traded. So I would, I would definitely give Mithril Ore a shot um, if the margin's still like this. It only took an hour to flip that, and we got 234k, which is awesome. Black mask. I mean, we did we did break even on it. We sold sold it back for 582k, um, but not much there. Oh yeah, and sorry, we actually did flip a super attack potion for 84k, uh, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, we made about 325k or so. So the Mithril Ore still has an 11 GP margin on it, which is still very good um, for what kind of item it is. So we'll go ahead and do another 13,000 of those for sure, and uh, hopefully we'll still make over 100k from it. And lastly here, I think we're going to try the Dragon Scimitar. I mean, it only has a 900 GP margin on it. But, again, this should be very quick. And uh, hopefully we can buy 100 or so of them. I have not checked the buying limit, so we're just going to quickly do that now. Um, yeah, actually, didn't, I can't find one for it. So we'll go ahead and try buying maybe... Um, well, we'll just use the rest of our money. <laughs> uh, which will be like... I don't know, like... 300, uh, I mean uh, 30, <laughs> um, 60, perfect, right, uh, 70, perfect, got it. <laughs> and we have successfully sold everything. Uh, so for this final flip of the episode, I believe we did pretty good. The uh, Dragon Scimitars we got, uh, kept the 900 GP margin on, giving us about 61k in total. Uh, the Mithril Ores were quite good again, giving us a 11 GP margin and about 110k in total that we made. And we also did some super energies, giving us 80 GP on each one, and 2000 flipped would give us 160k. So in total, probably another 300k. Um, yeah, so today we didn't make any um, crazy flips, uh, but we made some steady progress. We started at about 15.1 mil, and we're ending about 16.6. So maybe 1.5 mil, and this is over the course of only three days. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that and I um, can't really record much more because it's so damn hot uh, My computer will probably shut off and explode. So well, thanks for watching guys. I will see you guys in episode 14 yeah.